What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in once again back with the bank of the day, guys, on a very special video. I'm starting over, okay? Hear me out. But what we are going to be doing today is talking about all of the upcoming Jordan releases for 2025. And why is this video though called I'm Starting Over? Well, because I've been doing YouTube for the past 10 years now. And for what is coming out in 2025, think about the past 10 years and think about all the dope shoes that have released in those past 10 years, all the highlight moments of the past 10 years. Well, imagine Jordan Brand squeezing all those highlights into one year. Well, that's kind of what they're doing for the year of 2025. And with that being said, with me being at two to 300 pairs of shoes at this point, and a lot of those being highlight moments of what has released throughout the 10 years, I think I'm at the point now where I wanna get rid of as much as possible, even more to what I would have said recently, because what is to come in 2025 is going to add in so much more. And I know it sounds crazy, I'm not saying I'm selling my whole entire sticker collection, but as a collector itself, I feel like I'm almost resetting or rebooting as the Marvel Cinematic Universe would be, you know, somewhat doing with the Fox and all that and what's to come after Doctor Doom and Doomsday. What's coming in 2025 makes me look as if I need to sell everything that I got hype-wise or highlight-wise or OG or classic-wise because it's coming back in 2025. So with that being said, with a lot of my OG classics, the OGs that released, the ones that Jordan wore himself, those shoes, I'm basically starting over. Without further ado though, we're gonna dive into every single rumored release and confirmed release of 2025. It's a lot, I think around 30 at least. I've counted 30 and I stopped at that point. And this is just the top sneakers. Let's, let's dive straight into it, man. Let's get it. All right, y'all. So we are on JustFreshKicks.com. Salutes to them. They got this. They actually just dropped this yesterday. And I wasn't even utilizing this one. I was actually going to utilize this from Sneaker News. But we're going to still look into this one as well. Sit back and relax. This is going to be a pretty long one. We're going to move pretty fast. Though. I don't want to be too long. But we're, it's a lot. But we're going to move at a pretty fast pace because there's a lot of these. So let's get it. First one off the rip. We got the Jordan 3 Black Cat. This is releasing on January 25th for $200, right off the rip in the month of January. You know how usually December is that big hit month and then we go into that kind of staleness of January and it kind of picks back up for February of that All-Star weekend? Well, from what it seems, they're gonna be going right off the top of the goddamn dome with the Black Cat Jordan 3. Now this shoe is a very, very well-loved classic that we haven't seen since what i'm gonna take a quick little look but it's been 2007 is what it's, i'm seeing let me see I, I see it right here i just typed it in and then 2007 popped up yeah 2007 is the last time we've seen this sneaker some people prefer the four but when i think of black cat i think of the jordan three the jordan four though from when we did our little bit of research i could be staying corrected but the jordan four i believe actually came out first in 2006 and then the Black Cat 3 came in 2007. And let me just confirm it. You see 2000, yeah, it says 2006 right here for the Black Cat. And we're looking over here just so y'all can see on StockX. You know, they got it kind of labeled there. Yeah, man, the Black Cat 3 is going to be a well sought after sneaker. If you guys remember, the Black Cat 4s did drop back in 2020. And they were kind of sitting like for like a little bit. And then randomly out of nowhere, they just blew up to $600. And the rest was history. But this is going to be an instant cop right off the rip going into January. We all, everybody's going for that shoe in my opinion. Now we got the Jordan 3 Valentine's Day. You know, Jordan Brand usually drops these each and every Valentine's Day, something special, or at least from Nike's in, like Nike Dunks. Sometimes we get these threes. For me, this is a pass moving into February. But then right off the rip, February 8th, that we lead into All-Star Weekend, we have the Jordan 5 Black Metallic Reimagined. Now, I actually own the previous ones. I own the Black Metallics, and this is a shoe that I might have to be putting up on Two Wilds Closet because there's just no reason to have two pairs. This shoe released back in 2016, so this will have been a nine-year difference of the last release to now. The Reimagined pair supposedly is going to be very close to the original or at least like the last pair from 2016 however it's going to have a pair of white laces to kind of pay tribute to how jordan actually wore them on the court it's kind of reimagined in a way but it's not 
I guess the fact that Jordan did wear it with white laces, but it came out with black laces, they're reimagining it as if it was to be released with the way he wore it. I think this is going to be a big shoe as well. So we got two big shoes off the rip in the 25th and then leading into the next week. So January 25th is on a Saturday. Then you have the 1st, which is we don't see nothing for February 1st right now, but the 8th. So the two weeks after. So not the next week, but the week after we got these supposedly. And these are all rumored, you know, prices, release dates. This is, this is all subject to change. But uh, for the most part, 210 is the price point on this February 8th for the re uh, black metallic reimagine next up we have the union la jordan one high og on february 12th so that will be leading right into the following week i guess so yeah on that 12th the 8th and then on the 12th so a couple days later we talked a little bit about this on the sneaker news on monday and i think this is going to be a big one that's going to bring back the hype from union la you know i was watching a little bit of the um complex podcast with uh matt wealthy joe lapuma and brandon dunn and I'll take their word for it over mine with Union LA that they know more about Union LA. And they've always they stated that like Union LA was never, you know, their premise, their, their, their the way they move is not about selling limited, exclusive, sold out product. Like that's not their niche. That's not how they came in, I guess, in the game, wanting to do at least. But this was the shoe that kind of popped off their collaborations, and in my opinion, was like what created that hype for their brand. That along with the fours. What we've seen afterwards with Jordan 2s, the, the, the special, uh, the uh, Phil Generals, uh, Cortezes, they all kind of have flopped in a way or, you know, sold below retail, which I'm not mad at, you know? Even the Jordan 1 Bethy's Beauty Supply, it's also another one of those that kind of just did not, um, just instantly sell out. I don't have an issue with it, but this one is gonna be one that I think will and will bring back that union hype once again. And it's a very sick colorway in my humble opinion. February 12th, $200. Then we got the Jordan 1 High 85 bread. Another one on the 14th, 200 and wow. I don't know if I caught that last time, $250. Now I think I did because of what I remember, I believe this is gonna come in some special box or some sorts of BS. $250 is crazy, and I, I want to sit here and tell you I'm going to grab them, and I more than likely will grab them, at least for the review. I'm very curious on this one, though. As much as I would say it would sell out at $200 instantly, $250, I'm really curious on how people are going to move with that. I am at the point now where I'm starting to believe more as consumers that we are willing to put our foots down we've seen what's happening recently with jordan brand in general all these prices and these shoes dropping and stuff going for below retail is 250 going to be you know too high for jordan brand where they're going to realize they're not going to be able to do this like there's a possibility that as much as i think this shoe is dope as hell it won't sell out at 250 but then again like me personally like i want this shoe i really do but there's got to be a point as much we want something what we're willing to spend so i'm very curious on this one in particular this is a very hot and dope and phenomenal shoe we all love the jordan one bread the last pair that got i think was 2015 so we're well past that time to actually get a pair that is more true to this essence of war you know at least because we did get like patents and all that patent leather this one's going to be a little bit more in line with, with what we want but with that being said 250 is a lot now i think i said before special box we'll have to wait and see i want to say this is an instant sellout but i'm just that 250 is weird it's a weird price if i had to make a choice gun in my head i'll say it would sell out even at 250 people are going to spend their money if this is any other jordan 185 high that's not a bread unc or og colorway it's flopping but the fact that it's a original dundada and they, if they do some special type of you know commemoration then yes and the reason also why is because this will be, I believe, the 40th year anniversary of the Jordan 1. So 40 years, and this is the first Jordan in a way, right? The bread, and then Chicago came, if I'm correct, right? So this has to be a special one, now that I think about it. The 40th year anniversary of the Jordan 1 is going into 2025 because it released in 1985. So keep that in mind, and now I'm going to be even more certain that 250 will be okay because they're going to do something special. At least that's what I hope. We had the Jordan 4 Rare Air, another colorway of the famous, you know, undefeated Jordan 4 Rare Air that had released. We have rumors that those are coming out as well, but also now a new colorway or a colorway that's at least new to me. I'm not going to lie. I don't know nothing about this, but February 15th, $215. So a day after the release of this. So you got the 14th on Friday. The 15th is a Saturday, 215. This one I'm, I'm more than likely going to grab as well. Like everything so far I'm seeing, 
except for the Valentine's, we're grabbing so far. We're probably gonna pick this one up, but when the other ones drop, I don't know. I'm gonna have to see how I feel about this. Supposedly, you see how it has the rare air or the Jordan, the rare, whatever going on here? Special edition versions or certain pairs, my bad, uh, 250 or something like that will have gold instead of the typical white lettering right here. So it's gonna be a little special surprise type of shoe. Um, with that being said, we'll just have to wait and see. But $215, February 15th, for the Jordan 4 Rare Air. Jordan 1 High OG Deep Royal Blue, 180, 225. It's like whatever. It's good to see that the price is kind of staying though. We also got another Nike SB. This is on February as well for 225. We know this is going to sell out instantly. Supposedly, there's a varsity red version like this. And then there's also a navy version that will be coming out a little bit later as well. Yeah, I, I want to have all three colorways on my wall. Why not? I can't hit on the Nike SB Dunks but I can't hit and get my hands on the Nike Jordan 4 SB Dunk. So I'm gonna do what I gotta do, you feel me? So next up, we got the Bright Cactus. I like this colorway, I can't lie. You know what I'm saying? So we, we picking up everything except for the Valentines and these so far. I like these, right? I honestly might, like if I'm doing good and I'm, I'm, I'm having a great time in 2025, which I hope, I might grab these. Like I really like this colorway. This is a different colorway. I like the green glue, the goop. It looked like some goddamn slime from Nickelodeon in the 90s, you feel me? I like this. It's different, it's weird, it's not original. I like this though. For some reason, I like this. Let me know, do y'all like this one? Because for some reason, I do. March 14th, $200. I'm gonna have my eyes on this one to see how it comes out, but this colorway is this weird, and I like it. Then we got the Jordan 12 Mellow, another dope shoe. Nicole actually owned this pair. They dropped it, though, in a GS-only version back, like I wanna say it's 2014 or something like that. Let me see. Let's see what year did they drop? They dropped it as a GS though in 20. Uh, well, it released. It said 2004. So that had to be when Melo actually wore them. But then they dropped them again. But they were only as a GS pair, which was stupid. They did the same thing for the Jordan 2 as well. 2016 is when they dropped these. But they were only a GS version. Now they're coming back out with these on April 5th. $200. This is a iffy one for me. Like, I might grab it because I want the two. I want a, I want a Mellow PE. I want a Jordan Mellow PE, but this one for me, I might have to pause on, okay? We'll have to wait and see. Instant Cop, Jordan 5, OG Grape, sell out. This one I think will sell as well. This one may sit, sell out. Just keep it in mind, this one's gonna probably sit. But we, we've seen a lot of things that are gonna potentially sell out here, you know, in my opinion. The Jordan 5 OG Grape, though, will have Nike Air on the back, releasing April 19th, $200, instant sellout. And hopefully it's in its OG shape, so it's a little weird. It's gonna have that weird shape like the other Jordan 5s we had previously, which were like the metallic tongue and all that, and the black, uh, was it the metallic tongue? It was another one that released that had that weird shape as well. But this is a instant cop for me. And uh, yeah, I'm all for April 19th. We got the Air Jordan 1 Low OG Phantom. I like this colorway, but nothing extraordinary, but it's cool. It's clean. April 26th, 140. We got the Women's Aluminum, something different, but, and I see the aluminum here, cool, but, you know, pass for me. May 3rd, 215, 140. This might be a decent shoe, but it's gonna be a pass for me as well. Swarovski, Air Jordan 1 Low, OG Stealth. So we already know of the Swarovskis that dropped previously. There was two different colorways. They sold out instantly. It seems like they're dropping another pair that seems to have less diamonds on it. You, The last pairs have diamonds all throughout it. They're calling it Stealth. So I wonder if it's gonna go with a black type of color or a gray. We'll have to just wait and see. But stealth, you think of like usually that dark gray, like a stealth gray or a stealth being more of a black. We'll have to just wait and see. And I don't even know if the diamonds, this is how the diamonds are gonna look or they're gonna be all over. With that being said, it's gonna be a shoe that's gonna sell out even if it is $8,000. But it ain't gonna be in my possession, unfortunately, because that's too goddamn much money, in my opinion. Jordan 4 OG White Cement. I think the last time these came out was also in 2016. I own a pair, I've worn my pair, I beat it into the ground. This is a shoe that I probably won't sell. I probably will keep it. I'll keep the 16, I'm saying. And I'll just wear my 16 and then get these on fresh. Double up shawty on this one, you know? Have one rock stock type of ordeal. Why not? May 17th, 225 is the price point and uh, instant sellout in the building. Instant sellout, no issues whatsoever. So a big release right here. This is gonna be like how the Jordan 4 um, Military Blues dropped. 
I think it's going to do extremely well and it's going to be a lot of pairs. So we'll just have to wait and see. But we'll see, man. You know, Jordan Man might make everything limited due to the fact they're getting disrespected now. You feel me? Air Jordan 10 OG Stealth. Instant cop for me. Not a sellout. People are not big fans of the 10s. I did have the Stealth. I think I sold them. If not, I need to. Because this is going to be the OG stuff with the toe cap, which is more closer to the, like, the original, original, original Jordan 10 that released way back in the day. I don't know exactly what year that was, but... Had to be 95, 96. Yeah, 95. I want to say 95. I'm just going to stay on that. So that would be a 30-year anniversary for this shoe. $200. Cop. Rust Pink. Look, Jordan, y'all dropping too much heat this year that we got to make some shoes has got to go. Pass. Right? Rust Pink, pass. Cool. Instant Cop, Jordan 12, flu game. I got a pair, though. My pair is still in good condition. So for that reasoning, I'm kind of like, eh. This is a shoe that I will... I'm going to grab. The, the issue I have, I guess, even from this picture... It's like, what could they do on this pair that's really different than the pair that I got? Because the pair I got is very nice. The pair that came out, what year was that one? Let me see. I'm just going to check and see. Like, certain shoes, like, yeah, 2016 also. I just don't know if it's worth me buying this one because I just don't feel like it's going to be that much of a difference. They killed the, the flu game spot on last time, so maybe this might be a pass, but it's going to do well for everybody else. Everybody else is going to jump on it. Why not? You should. You feel me? You should. I'm all for it. Cool Gray 9, Instant Cop. I actually sold my pair that I had got a little while back, and I'm happy. I sold it before they announced it, I think. I think I did, or maybe I just sold it when I found out they announced it. But the last time these released was in 2012. I'm all for it. Instant Cop for me. I love this shoe. Um, I sold the previous pair because I knew this. I, I, I was waiting on this pair to actually come back out, and I'm happy they're doing it. So, Instant Cop for me. Air Jordan 1 Low 85 Royal. We got to wait and see. This looks leather. This is an if one. I might grab it. We'll have to wait and see. We've seen how they've done the Royals. We've seen how the Imagine Royals did. They did horrible. We've seen how a lot of the Air Jordan 1 Low 85s, just in general, like the recent pair, the Metallic Navy, are on sale right now. But that said, it still doesn't determine whether or not I might cop it. I may cop this shoe. It looks good. It looks good. 160 also. I'm with it. This might be a cop for me, actually. We got the Nike SB era Jordan 4 Navy. We talked about the Varsity Red. Here's the Navy pair. Instant sellout. Hype. Everything. Bots. Resellers. Everybody's galore. Everybody's a sneakerhead. Moment will be on this sneaker right here. Everybody's going to want a pair for this particular moment. 225 Don't matter. People buying it. And hopefully, this will end my three pair, you know, colorways of the Nike SB. Air Jordan 4 Rare Air Atmosphere Gray. These look clean, okay? We have another Rare Air dropping. You see it right there, um, 215 on the price point. I might grab it. Looks a lot like the Jordan 4 Cool Gray though. Really, really close to that. We'll have to wait and see. The other pair I definitely would cop. This one I'll have to just wait and see on this one in all honesty. Uh, Jordan 1 Low Obsidian Pass. I'm good. They just dropped one of these recently with the For Her Windy City Joints. Rookie of the Year. Whoa. I don't know. I, I think I might have sold my Rookie of the Year Jordan 1. I got to check. I either did or I got my pair still. But that was a really nice shoe that dropped. They dropped them, I want to say, like 2008 and 19, maybe. 18? 18. 2018. Yeah, these were nice. So they're dropping a low top version of it. I think these would do well. I think these are going to do well if people know what the hell's going on. People that know it. Because these did well. They're going for $300 right now. $250 last sale. Instant sellout, Travis Scott, Velvet Brown. I think I like this colorway a lot. Travis still got the flame, okay? He still got the flame. These are fire, though. I, I definitely would cop. This one I probably would cop as well. Pass. This one I saw was wild. The Jordan 4 Net Black. This looks crazy, but I kind of like it. Spring 2025, 210. Definitely review worthy. It looks crazy. I don't know if I'm going to cop it. I don't know if I'm going to keep it, but it looks crazy, and I'm interested, okay? I'm interested, so... We'll just have to wait and see. But this one's definitely dope. They seem to bring the net all the way up to the tongue. I want to know more. I want to learn more. Tell me more. I'm looking forward to this one. 210, too. Seafoam. I'm good. I'm over to Seafoam. Uh, Jordan 6 Fire Red. Cool. But we need the infrared. We want we want infrared, Jordan Brand. I feel like this is released before. I've seen this, like, color scheme. I don't know if I've seen it, like, at a 6 ring or something. Or, like, a Team Jordan. Like, it was, like, one of them weird Team Jordans or something, bro. I've seen this colorway floating around. I, I mean, at the same time, it's kind of the typical Jordan palette of white, black, and red. Like, it's the same thing, but I don't know. It is what it is. Jordan 1, OG Patton, black, white. This is a pass, though. This is a pass, too. Um, this one, 
I, I, I'll entertain it, but I don't know if I'll keep it, but I'll definitely will entertain it. You know what I'm saying? These are all review worthy at the end of the day, but I'm not too sure. You know, I think I'm over the patent leather. Like the really, the only patent leather shoe I want is the Jordan 1 Chicago patent leather from 2006. It's not even a OG high. This is the patent leather shoe that I want. This is the first time I've seen patent leather on a Jordan 1 and it was in high school. They drop these joints. I'm cool with getting behind Jordan Brand. So anything else, I'm kind of good right now. Unless it's a, an 11 or something, right? Uh, the Bike Air. So we have another Bike Air. A Nigel collab with the Jordan 4 OG. These look fire. These look crazy, the colorway. You know, really crazy. But hey, I'm with it. I'm with it. I'll cop it. Love these Travis Scotts. I love it. This is a women's though with the pink Oxford. I love it though. I'm all with it. I'm all for it. 150 spring another one i'm all for it i'm for both of them this is dope though it's like a neapolitan that got like that cow look almost to it i like both of these though instant sellouts we know what it is instant sellout this one we'll have to see i don't know how this is probably gonna sit sit see foam we'll have to wait and see we don't know how the world's gonna feel you know what i'm saying the money is the money gonna be good is, is kamala gonna be the president is trump gonna be the president is the economy gonna be good these things all matter trust me that's why it's important to vote who you vote that's up to you but vote Okay, Jordan 3 OGSP Diffused Blue. I like this overall look. I like the Jordan 11 Loaf Diffused Blues that it's about to release, but I don't think I'm gonna, you know, I can't get behind this. The sale, once again, you know, it is what it is. It's cool, but keep moving. Jordan 4 RM Pine Green. I like the Jordan 4 RM. Um, do I think it's gonna last that long? I think we might see it to 2025, and then Jordan Brand's gonna put it on the shelf. This should have been Nigel's shoe. Like how y'all did cut the, the Jordan cut the check with Travis Scott. The RM should have just been Nigel's shoe, not a collab. Like this should have been just his shoe. That's what y'all should have did. 150 on these. Jordan women's igloo. Cool, but keep it moving. A trophy room six. White slash crimson black court purple. They're June 13th. Close to my birthday. We'll have to wait and see. Jordan 11 low bread. I think this will do well. I'm going to cop this one instantly. 190 to uh, June 21st. June's got a lot of heat. Undefeated collab. This is another one of those bad boys. Those rare airs. The, like the original Dundada, Instant Cop, June 28th, 225. This is going to be probably a potential sneaker of the year for a lot of people out there. Top three, at least. Air Jordan 1, Reverse Shadow. We've already had a Reverse Shadow. I don't give a damn what you put on it. $200, cool, but pass from me. Women's Sale, cool. Eh, pass from me, though. We did that enough. I'm on Manier, Jordan 5, Diffuse Blue. So Diffuse Blue is starting to pop off a lot in 2025, I see. These are cool, but I already had both of the other Jordan 5 I'm on Maniers. I'm good. Aqua. I own my Aquas from 2018, I believe. Something like that. It might have been 2018 or... Nah, I had to be like 2016 now. Because I was I was back at my mama. I was at the, back at the home base. 2015 when them last release. So, this is a shoe that's going to be really tough for me to sell. Regardless, because I just love this shoe. I hope they do it justice and make it it's even better than the, that pair. Because that pair was really close to the OG. This is going to be a big shoe. 210, man. I paid paid 190 for them in 2015. This is like the Jordan 12 flu game. Like where I'm, I'm going to be a little bit uneasy not sure if i want to sell or not because are they going to do enough to make me want to buy the newer version but this is going to be a very big shoe as well for a lot of people out there and i think it's going to sell out i think these will still sell out but like the smaller sizes will sit a lot of these shoes man for the most part i think are going to do fairly good you know these may do okay these are going to flop i'm not too sure about these i think these will be okay the last trophy rooms though kind of did that eh. these will probably be okay floppers okay sold out another jordan 3 rare air man like this crazy like so i know about jordan rare air but i only knew about it through the undefeated like i didn't know that the rare air was its own series of some sort you feel me the rare air shoes i gotta learn about that more so because it seems like they're just gonna be running with a lot of rare airs in general but we'll have to learn more if they can be doing it where you're peeling it off and getting that gold logo of some sort so on certain pairs and those pairs are the rare pairs or what it may be but they seem to be dropping tons of rare air here we see it swarski jordan one nice clean all the hype beats that will come out to play on this one but you know pass for me jordan five metallic gold and dud reimagine unc instant sellout instant cop potential top 10 sneaker of the year list for sure uh shoe that a lot of people are talking about and me in particular i don't i never owned a unc jordan one high top so definitely adding it to it 180 summer 2025 jordan 14 ferrari instant cop 210 uh summer 2025 i'm gonna see man hopefully they, they, they bring it back in its true form but dope shoe jordan 12 i mean my bad jordan 13 low dong dang dong dan what is dong dan oh it's a street ball site i'm happy i looked it up in beijing 
Salutes, salutes to China, man. My bad. So this is a, is a street ball court. They've dropped numerous Dong Dan colorways throughout the years, and some of these I'm very familiar with. So this is like a street ball site in Beijing, and this is a colorway to go along with it for the 13. Cool. I like this though. If I'm splurging, I cop it. But if I don't, if I'm, if I'm where I'm at now, nah. Jordan One OG women's wash teal, cool. But keep it moving. Travis Scott bright cactus. I like these a lot. Just like I like those 13s instant cop lucky shorts i think this has to do with it is the jordan we used to wear shorts underneath his shorts his unc shorts or something like that i think that's the story behind this last time i checked dope no cop but dope review and all the above instant cop sold out probably not gonna be able to cop it jordan one canary is a rumor release supposedly happening in the holiday it's gonna be a tough shoe to get and i don't think i'll be able to get it but if i can i'll be happy i'll at least have one of the off-white jordan ones finally you feel me? Another one, the biggest one. And this is the last one, I think. Yeah, man. The Shattered Backboard. This is what kind of popped it off and made me realize, okay, 2025 is going to be top of the year, top of the line. Best year so far I've seen to this date. That This is the shoe right here. And this is going to be a shoe that's going to bring us all back together in this, as a family. And we're going to be, we're going to be happy, guys. Now, before we go, I just want to see what Sneaker News ranks all this. We've already went through it, so you're going to see all the same stuff. We're going to be quick with it, but let's just skim and see what they label as the top 25 power ranking sneakers. 25, you got the Mellows. You got the OG Sales right there. Cool. The Bread Low, 11 Lows. Cool. Steels. They put the Steels above the Breads. Okay. Rare Air. This is the one we're talking about with the box right here. Nike SB Varsity Red. Cool. Cool. Gray 9. Cool. Rare Air again. Oh, they're going to flip it. Union. Okay. Ferrari. Okay. Yeah. I wouldn't have put this one as high up on this list. Dark Pony. Cool. I would have put this one way lower. This one too. This one's close. Good. I'm good with that. Nine. So we're in the top 10 now. Nine. Flu game. Cool. Eight. Nah. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm cool. That could have went up a little bit more. Uh, this should have been number one in my opinion. This is cool at three. No. Fuck no. Damn. So think about that. They're saying this is going to be number one. Which it, I mean, look, I'm not mad at it, though. I mean, this list is their list at the end of the day. This is their opinions. But, you know, some of them I would have moved around. If you Maybe we could make a tier list or something like that very soon as well. If you really like this video, we'll make a tier list of all this. But I'm not mad. You know, I'm not mad. Um, I'm looking forward to 2025. And I would love to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions on what y'all are doing to prepare for it. Are you bowing out, man? Or are y'all resetting? I know some of y'all are going to be resetting like me. So I ain't tripping, but... I'm looking forward to it. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Hit the like button. Comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'm going to see y'all in the next one. I'm out. Peace.